So I purchased a Nest thermostat. Now this is not a cheap item to go out and buy. A Nest thermostat is not a cheap thermostat, but you know what? You get what you pay for. In my case, I wanted one of these because they're cool looking. <laughs> That's probably the main reason. And because it has an app to go with it. But beyond that, how are you going to justify spending $250 for a thermostat? Well, I bought mine recently just because there was a sale. So $50 off immediately on this Nest thermostat. And this is the latest generation as of 2016. The next incentive that I got was from my electric company. The electric company said that they would give me $100 back as a rebate if I purchase one of these. So that's a pretty cool deal. So $150 off right there leaves this thermostat at just $100. And most of your thermostats out there cost about that anyway, unless you just get one of those really cheap, cheesy, spring-operated ones, which hopefully you don't have anything that unsophisticated in your house. But if you do, it may be time to upgrade to a more sophisticated system. I know you've seen those thermostats where you pull the cover off and there's like a glass tube in there with mercury in it that flips back and forth. If you have one of those, you're living in the dark ages. Trust me. So I bought one of these Nest thermostats under all the conditions that I mentioned and I wanted to do the unboxing with you. So I have not yet opened up this package. I did remove the cellophane, but I have not opened it yet. So let's do it. Let's open up this thermostat together and see what's inside. Now I will tell you as I'm unboxing this that I did also buy a Nest smoke detector. So if you guys are interested, I can make a, a little video about the Nest smoke detector. I got that little booger for $40 at, guess where? You guessed it. I got it at a Goodwill store and I got it um, brand new in the box at the Goodwill store as well. So here's what we're looking at inside the package right here. The Nest thermostat. And it looks like there's a little plastic cover that goes over the top to protect its delicate screen. And so here's what the, the thermostat itself looks like. It looks like it has a, uh, a cover. Oh, I guess the cover just covers that little piece right there. All right, so I removed that. So there it is itself. Now, really what you're purchasing here is a smartphone that's going to uh, control your heating and cooling. I mean, quite honestly, after you see the display on one of these things, it's going to be like, okay, there's a computer in there with a display and everything. Surprise, you can't watch YouTube videos on this thing. That's how sophisticated it is. So the next item up for bids here is a little cardboard connector. Take that out. And looks like we have some documentation here. Professional installation. Welcome home. Nest learning thermostat installation guide and better together. So up here you'll see this is the, the actual uh, smoke detector and it's also a carbon monoxide detector as well which is really cool. Set those aside and then here's the last of what we have inside of here. So it comes with a screwdriver, comes with the uh, like the base of the unit here and it comes with a couple of screws. So essentially uh, this is it guys. This is the package. So uh, what does it say? It says, turn off the power to heating and cooling systems before installing. Yes, that makes perfect sense. It says that right there. So the next step is to just show you how easy it is to install. And uh, there's a video online here on YouTube that I watched that uh, is actually made by the Nest company. So you may want to watch their video on how to install this as well. But uh, the first thing we've got to do is turn the breaker off to the, uh, to the current thermostat. So I'll do that, and I'll meet you at the old thermostat. We are now in the main hallway of the DataBits home, and here in the hallway is our old Emerson thermostat, brought to you by Hoffman Brothers. Yes, that is the company that installed my system, and they've shamelessly plugged their uh, company right here on the front of the thermostat itself. Now, the thing that's a little bit annoying about this is that this used to have this really cool backlit display on it that would light up whenever you touched it. And it was kind of like uh, those little uh, those uh, glow 
watches that are out there had that kind of capability and uh, it just died that part died so now every time I wanted to see what the temperature is I have to turn the hall light on to look at the thing so anyway anyway I digress so this particular one is an Emerson based one it has batteries up here in the top as like uh, memory protectors up here I suppose and of course now that I've removed them it's yelling at me and saying change them now in my case the front cover just pops off so I'll go ahead and pop that off of here and there is its awesome innards so the main thing that they recommend that you do and I haven't actually pulled the breaker yet I still have to do that uh, the main thing that they ask you to do is to take a picture of the wiring setup and again that's because you're going to label the wires that uh, go on your next product so uh, what you want to do is take your camera out take your phone out take a picture and that will be the first step I've made sure that my breaker is turned off and I have tested that by turning up the temperature on the thermostat which resulted in nothing happening so I'm absolutely sure that my breaker has been turned off. The next step is to label the wires and I've done so here to the best of my ability. So my next step is to remove the old thermostat from the wall and I can do so with the screwdriver that is included in the box. See they even give you the right tools to do the job. Pretty cool right? I've loosened up my screws as you can see here and the thing is actually still stuck to the wall probably because of the paint that's behind it but the next thing I need to do if I don't do this first is to remove these wires from the system right away so I think I just pull them out whoops now I'm pulling the whole thing out I'm not sure exactly how these work maybe I push in ah uh, you push in on them okay so I'm gonna push in these little tabs there we go so push in the little tabs kind of like uh, speakers you know like uh, little desktop portable speakers have those little push tabs on them very similar thing now I have not demanded that my family be quiet while I'm doing this so you may hear background noises as I'm going through this I actually heard a train coming through a little bit ago okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these screws out actually I think I still hear that train alright so pull the screws out and we'll see how much scariness is underneath this thing Ugh, yeah so you can see here I don't know if you can see it as well as I can but there is a difference in the color of the paint here the paint behind this is uh, white and outside of it here we've recoated it with fresh paint at some point to a uh, eggshell color or maybe a uh, vanilla color so uh, they offer you a back plate that you can put on here to cover up all this stuff so I think that's what I'm gonna do is apply the back plate so I had originally stated that this was all that was in this box well there is more in this box so if you lift up this stuff you'll see underneath that back plate that I just talked about so we'll see if I can get that stuck on the wall here using the built-in leveler I have attached the back plate as well as the base of the nest unit and this is what it looks like they provided me two screws that I've used to go directly into the drywall so I didn't have to do any kind of drywall insertions or anything like that to get this installed so this brings us to the next step which is to put the wires in based on my outstanding labeling of these wires using the stickers that came inside of the instruction manual I will now attempt to insert them into these little slot thingies on the side and you push in this like that and then insert the wire inside of there and what they said in the instructions was that this little push button here should stay down once the wire is inserted okay so the next one is G so G is gonna go in right here so press in G push the wire all the way in the next one is W1 or W1 depending on where you're from so we're gonna insert W1 right there and then our last one is RC and RC is down here at the bottom left oh it sounds like my dinner is ready alright and there you have it 
all the wires are inserted and we are ready to put on the master control computer onto the front of all of this stuff and then we'll power up the system again via the um, via the breaker downstairs downstairs in the basement there's even a USB port there I wonder if that's for uh, charging it or updating it or something that's interesting all right so we're just going to turn it around here and they said just press it on there until it clicks and there it is so that was pretty much it on the installation so let's turn on the power and see what happens see if my house blows up I hope not okay I've turned my breaker back on the unit has now powered up and I'm getting this prompt for a language here so I am going to rotate it to English US and then press enter enter being to press the whole face of the unit English set up steps internet connection okay connect to the internet for remote control updates and local weather all right so connect let's see we've got two wire 263 alien spaceship gee it looks like everybody in the neighborhood has AT&T and ah oh, there's mine police van 5G oh boy so then I get to enter my password in there all right my thermostat is now online and able to be controlled by the United States government all right, I'm going to uh, press here to continue. Checking for a software update. The thermostat will update automatically later. All right, so now we're going to pick my location. Your location lets Nest set the local time and determine the weather forecast. Is this thermostat located in Festus Bow? Yes, it is. Please describe this location. We are a single family. Where's your thermostat? Hallway. Heating and cooling. Are you a Nest Pro? I'm a homeowner. Equipment detected. Okay, cool fan, power, heat. Yeah, that looks uh, like the wires that I inserted. All right, your system, heating, cooling, and fan. Continue. What is the fuel source for your heating? It is gas actually what type of heating do you have forced air in floor radiant radiators more info uh, mine is forced air all right temperature should nest begin by heating or cooling your home we should begin heating it what are the lowest and highest temperatures you would like when you are away all right so when we're away we would like the heat to be um, We'll say we'll set it to 65. All right, I've set both of these to 65 and 76. And I'm going to go down to done and do a system test. Nest is now configured for your system. Continue. Your system is now ready to test. You can test it now or test it later. I want to test it now. What do you want to test? Heating. Okay. All right. Testing heat. W wire, one wire. The heat should be on. Check the vents. It might take a few minutes for the air to begin. And I actually heard the fan kick on. So that's pretty cool. So I finished my heat test and then I went to the cool test and it says it is currently 54 degrees outside. To protect your system, Nest does not need to test the cooling. It does not test cooling when the temperature outside is below 60. Very interesting. All right, so now we can test the fan. Yep, fan works. Done. The fan has been turned off. Continue. So we were only able to test heating and fan at this point because of its strict rules and regulations here. All right, so we'll say done. Your adjustments help Nest learn your preferred temperature and schedule. Continue. The thermostat's temperature sensors need some time to calibrate automatically. Continue. And finish. 
So now our heat is set to 68 degrees. And I guess I can dial that back a little bit. And that makes it turn a little happy little green thing there. So do I have to hit that? Okay, there we go. So uh, now I can dial around here. See, there's my home, my settings, my schedule, energy, yesterday, no usage. Of course, this thing was just born today. Fan, automatic, thermostat is set to heat currently. And there's some current information about my local area. Now the next step would be to register this with the app that I've installed. And I can't show you that because the app is installed on the phone that I'm using to make this recording. So the next thing that I would do is go in and find a key. So there is a, um, a key in here. Click sound, where, network nest account none so this is this is the part that I'm going to do next is the nest account and I'm going to be able to sync that with my smartphone which in this case is an Apple 6 plus and we're all set and ready to go I've got the product key from the device and put it into my app and now my app knows well the app is what tells the unit that you're away or home and when you're away it will lower the temperature and save you money so there is some sophisticated uh, connection with your smartphone that's needed for the thermostat to know that you're not home and change the setting for you, unless you do it on a schedule. And swinging around here up to the ceiling of my hallway here, you'll see my Nest carbon monoxide as well as smoke detector. And I'll tell you more about this guy in another video. It won't be an unboxing because I've already unboxed it and installed it, but uh, at least I can kind of show you some of the cool stuff that it does. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my channel, and always uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, put those in there. I read all the comments that you guys leave, and subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.